This is why real street niggas don't have no motherfucking social media if they not selling nothing. This is why I tell you niggas, if a bitch has a social media and she's not selling clothes, she's not selling makeup, she's not doing taxes, I'm talking about like acts all the time. Like this, she's always promoting her business. She's not on that bitch uh, putting up pictures of her in bathing suits if she doesn't sell bathing suits. If she's not a model, if it doesn't say model in this shit and you see actual modeling pictures, this whole is all day long. This whole putting up fucking statuses. That's a worthless ass bitch. You need to get the fuck away from this hoe, but get, just as soon as this hoe get 50 likes on her motherfucking post, this hoe won't think she's famous. much as I appreciate you fucking with my channel the way you do, if you're not moving forward in life, I pretty much fucking failed. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of being broke. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of the co-workers at your bullshit ass job. I do not have to ask you if you tired of the way your family looks down on you. But what I do have to ask you is how much longer you gonna wait to do something about this shit, big on? Call this fucking number. Let's get something moving in a forward, positive, northward direction. Call this number. I told you this. Get your shit together, big homes. Hey, welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is Are You Fucking Serious? I don't have on my Are You Serious? Shirt, but you still know you go get them motherfuckers at paypal.me forward slash. It's on the stream. Shirts are going for twin. Both of them. Whether it be this one or the Are You Serious t shirt, the snapbacks go for. What? Snapbacks go for 20 and the scullies are going for 15. You need to hurry up with the scullies or we're running out of the motherfuckers. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get some more of them motherfuckers in. Alright, but this right here is, um, Live Luxury, Eat Lavishly. Um, it's a brand. I believe that they are out of, um, I don't want to say because I don't want to say the wrong one. But, they got all kind of shit. Like, that shit come in a bag like this. I told that bitch open. Shit come in a bag. You got the red, black, and green. And you get a sticker with that shit like Jordans and shit. And y'all already know it's a black on. You already know how I rock. I'm going to put the sticker. So we always know what's going on. So y'all know I fuck with y'all. Heavy. 100. Y'all fuck with them boys. Uh, they'll be in the comment section uh, letting y'all know all the details and shit like that. I'll probably put a uh, link in the description box. Yeah, that's what I should do. So y'all can get to them and fuck with them boys, man. Real good prices, you know what I'm saying? This is how we're going to do it, man. If you are um, if you got a clothing line and shit like that, you want to get premiered on the show, fuck with me, hit me up. Y'all already know we got business to handle. All right, let's get into it. Um... We're going to go straight to this shit. TMZ. TMZ dropped a video of 6 9 being... 6 9 was, uh... You know, with hooded, you got to... You got to... I want to I like, I know how my shit look back here. I don't like my shit just be hanging and shit like that. It's a whole fucking... A hooded culture and shit like that. I don't really fuck with the hooded too heavy like that. Because of all the shit you got to do on camera, I mean. But... Yeah, um, TMZ gave the fucking feds and the internet the behind the scenes of when they recorded 6 9 beefing with Tato after the whole Chief Geek, Chief, Chief Geek, the Chief keeps shooting and all this shit like that. This fucking cameraman started from all the way back here 
brought his lame ass right up on the goddamn phone so you can see who the fuck he was talking to. And 6 9 being so fucking retarded, an academic uh, brought, he, he, um, he spoke about this shit, and I don't know how I feel about that either. Um, because he just, he just giving the news at the end of the day. But that's why you don't associate yourself with fucking rappers like that if you can't control them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? If you can't control them, and that's, I, that's, I'm hoping that's why he distanced himself. So, like, hey, my nigga, you finna crash the fuck out. So, I don't know how I feel about that whole situation, but I don't really blame that nigga too heavily for reporting on it. Because, like, he came in on this shit. He let you know he was a whole-ass nigga. He not with that shit. He gonna snitch. He lets you know who the fuck he is. So you can't be mad at nobody but 6 9 But this fucking cameraman zoom in and 6 9 just, oh, I'm, the, I'm the roughest, toughest. And this is what happened when you not no street nigga. When you an actor, you thinking this is what street niggas do. When they when they get in the beef, you want everybody to know about it. And that's where you be wrong. Real street niggas don't want nobody to know about nothing. This is why real street niggas don't have no motherfucking social media if they not selling nothing. This is why I tell you niggas, if a bitch has a social media and she's not selling clothes, she's not selling makeup, she's not doing taxes, I'm talking about like acts all the time. Like this, she's always promoting her business. She's not on that bitch uh, putting up pictures of her in bathing suits if she doesn't sell bathing suits. If she's not a model. If it doesn't say model in this shit and you see actual modeling pictures. This whole is all day long. This whole putting up fucking statuses. That's a worthless ass bitch. You need to get the fuck away from this hoe. But get, just as soon as this hoe get 50 likes on her motherfucking post, this hoe won't think she's famous. I'm, t I'm trying to save you some time, my nigga. Depend on what kind of nigga you is. If you're not the type of nigga who like this show, then you probably won't mind a bitch like that because y'all y'all are bound to live a regular nothing-ass life. And y'all gonna love that. And there's nothing... If that what you love, that what you love. I I, I call that shit um, the, the, uh, the SpongeBob mindset where he's happy to be a, a Flip Burgers. And if that's what make you happy, I wish I had that mindset. I wish I didn't want so much out of life. Because I'm always chasing, always perpetually working and shit like that. Trying to get more because I have my goals are that high. But when, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want shit. It's perfect. Um, That can make it, it, can make it very easy on a relationship if you don't want that much. You know what I'm saying? You can actually be with a bitch like me. Be with a whole... And because she's, look how shallow I am. Because the hoe doesn't look a certain way and think a certain way, I'm always going to feel like I've sold myself short because I, I know that there's a hoe out there who doesn't need, listen to what I'm telling you, doesn't need makeup, doesn't need weave, cares about herself physically, you know what I'm saying? Has good hygiene. Has a mind. Thinks logically, even when she's angry. Thinks rationally, even when she's... You know what I'm saying? I know that's out there. So as long... I fuck a hoe. And if this hoe been here more than two weeks, I start looking at this hoe like, what the fuck else are we doing here? It's time for another hoe, because, bitch, I done did everything with you sexually that we going to do. Let, let's get, the, what we doing? Now I'm starting to get annoyed with a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not everything did after that once you annoyed with a hoe. But that's what I'm trying to tell you, though. When you don't know, when you're not that, when you're trying to be something that you're not, you're going to slip somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that you can't. All right. What do I mean by trying to be something that you're not? Because I want to break this down as it's supposed to be broken down. Um, you're not a poser because you come from a fucked up background and you want more out of life. That's As long as you're willing to put in the work, then it's all love. And I guess that holds true with a person like 6 9 also. But he didn't want to put in the work. He wanted to pay other people to make it look like he put in the work. If he had went, really got jumped in, really went to go put in some work, but even then, 
this gangster shit is so it's so crazy because it's so crazy, dog. Because you got athletes that fail at being an athlete on a on a professional level, even even on a college level, and they come back to the hood. So they got a scholarship, went to college on the uh on the scholarship, football, basketball, whatever like that. Go to college two years and come back home. Now, what the fuck? They never did nothing but play sports. So now they come home. Of course, I'm going to sell dope because all my homeboys, this is what they doing, all my family, and it's easy money. This is what the white man get. This is what he gave us to do. You understand? Because it's so easy and it's right outside your door like that girl Pyrex Endo said. Shout out to Pyrex Endo. As soon as you step off the porch, it's motherfuckers making money right there. You don't have to go, you know what I'm saying? Before you can even go to Walmart or Walgreens and put an application in, let's say you on foot, whatever like that. You didn't see motherfuckers make $1,000. Just hand to hand. You know where to get it from. This to eat is it's right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why you get them situations where you see them athletes, you know, uh, uh, being rats because they still haven't found out what they want to be in life. They went from being an athlete to a dope boy, and now they're a fucking confidential informant. They think about being police. They they th they're thinking about being a police officer after this because the police officer after he bam him up, you know, he want to give him a hey man, you you. I, I watched all your games, man. What happened? Man, I don't know. Because now you're in trouble. You're in cuffs and shit like that. Look, man. Tell me where you got it from. We take this cu these cuffs off. You get to the house, man, and get you a job, man. Or what you can do. Come over here, Bill. Come over here. No, this, this is the kid. You remember? Triple-double. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, man, look, we're thinking about giving you a job. We can clean this city up. You played for this city. You made this city great. Let's clean these streets up together. Give me the handcuffs. No, give me the handcuffs. I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that type of shit. So now this nigga a fool. You know what I'm saying? This a fucking rat. Shout out to King Erna. You know what I'm saying? A whole fucking informant at this point. You know what I'm saying? And that's what fucks shit up, man. So it's, it's a lot of lost souls out there. But when that shit is so blatant, like in 6 9 case, it's like, come on, dog. So that's why a nigga be mad at everybody involved. But you can't really be mad because this is the oldest trick in the book. Like, come on, like, this motherfucker, shit, this a lick. If I'm shoddy, I'm telling motherfucker, shut the fuck up, nigga. The fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I'm trying to get this fucking money. What the fuck wrong with you hating ass nigga? Get my lick. The fuck, this, this pretty much like you niggas saw me out if I got a little white hoe that wanna know what I'm saying, whatever the fuck. This, this, this my white bitch right here. You know what I'm This hoe caking me the fuck up. Give a fuck with this hoe talking about, nigga. If she want me to wear a cowboy hat and go to fucking, and wear a fucking rebel flag, nigga, I'm getting paid around this bitch, nigga. But that's also why they didn't pull him aside when he woofing Tato like that because they really don't care about him. All they care about is the money, and that's really what sank them. Because they were trying to be somebody that they weren't, which is a friend. And where they slipped at, just like where 6 9 slipped trying to be a gangster, they slipped at the same point. At that point where that fucking TMZ camera came, and Shot ain't say, man, back the fuck up, and 6 9 ain't say, hold on, dog. Come on, dog, whoa. What you got going, dog? I'll let you over. I'll let you... I let you record me, man. I let you sit back here with me. Like, understand, my nigga. These cameramen, these paparazzi motherfuckers be on some real shady fuck shit, my nigga. Hey, uh, hey, Kim, I love this fucking dress. Hey, how about the child? Well, how's Northwest? Just, just, to, just so you can look at them. Hey, China, I love the new skin color. Hey, and we're going to talk about that new that whitening cream too, bitch. And y'all hoes. You bitches ain't say a goddamn thing to this bitch. But if, 
Like I said, Michael B. Jordan or Denzel Washington or any black man would have came out with a fucking whitening cream and went to Legos with that shit. Y'all would have been boycotting everything they did. But y'all letting this bitch ride. I'm not. Better believe we finna talk about that. But you not no gangster, so you don't know that. Hey, y'all, you for real, my nigga? Y'all, I'm talking about, like, dog, this... This not for the dog. This real. This is, I'm finna do something to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That can be used, to, but that's that. You asking a social media baby to give a fuck about what they say and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of you niggas is on that same shit. You dog. I'm starting to see some of you older niggas posting guns. Lord Jesus, I'm starting to see some of you older niggas. Post guns online. Posting drink online. And I, that shit is so dis, that shit is so sad to me, dog. When I see like older niggas that's supposed to be, come on, dog. Like y'all niggas supposed to, and y'all niggas really trying to cater to these fucking children. And I, 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 I understand if anybody understand, you know what I'm saying. You gotta do what you gotta do for that money. Is me, but dog, you for real, my nigga. You for real? <laughs> like that's for that's for the kids, man. That that you know what I'm saying? And I'ma harp on this shit because this is the first time and I want I want to be known. Like this nigga ain't that far away from none of y'all. The things that happen within this case. Aren't that far off from what you niggas be doing daily? Fuck nigga, guns in the air. Your niggas actually into shit, and it's how it work. If you are that nigga musically, you making money, and your niggas are into shit, whether you putting money in these niggas pockets or not. If it's more than three, three or more, y'all, it is a fucking game. One nigga did a kick though. One nigga sold some weed. One nigga around this bitch play pimping. Racketeering charge. Y'all got a whole bunch of shit going on. And in your music, you letting everybody know that you a real gangster and your your niggas do everything. And you gonna be in court talking about no, nah, that was just music. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? This is why I preach that three S shit, but. When you in that music shit like that, you can't be by yourself. So, it's like, if you can't control what's around you, get that shit from around you. That's just what that is. If these niggas still want to be in the street on that shit like that, if, and they got these excuses like, nigga, you ain't paying my bill, fuck that shit then, my nigga. If, that, if you know that nigga still want to be in the street, and he going to still be over there, bitch, doing whatever, you better get the nigga from around you. I'm telling you now, because there's going to be another one you niggas going to make a story about. Going slap to the feds. Cause they just showed you they can do it. Them niggas wasn't doing no awesome, amazing shit. Them niggas, them niggas ain't have no whole bunch of fucking coke. Niggas wasn't selling a whole bunch of heroin. These niggas were doing some regular shit. One of these niggas robbed a nigga. One of these niggas went over here and had a fight with a nigga. One of these niggas around this bitch sold a, 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 a 20 sheet to a fucking snorter. And now these motherfuckers got a whole racketeering charge in that bitch facing 20 years of life. Keep playing, my nigga. Oh. All because a nigga want to goddamn um, play gangster and want everybody to see that he a gangster. Y'all just keep on with that shit, man. But TMZ, and what I'm saying on this shit is, them cameras ain't your friend. I don't give a fuck. Hey, I love the love the mixtape, man. Hey, Gucci, Gucci. Hey, talk to me. Hey, hey, Gucci. How about all that? Uh, they're not your friend. TMZ gave these motherfuckers the goddamn footage. Like, anything you need, man. But in your face, oh man, love the new shoes, man. Oh man, where'd you get those? Oh man, that's awesome. They at the airport when you get off the plane. Oh man, hey man, I can't believe I, oh man, I love the. But all over here to the feds, here you go. Anything else you need? 
Oh, I'll always love to be a help. USA. I shouldn't have to tell you, but Instagram and Facebook gonna do the same thing. They don't give a fuck about you. If the feds ask them for something to keep them from getting audited or, or getting the IRS on their ass, man, here you go. Anything else you need? As long as we stay in good standing because they trying to keep their money going. You think Instagram or Facebook going to stand up for any one of y'all? When the feds is not even asking for no intimate shit. They just saying, let me look in this profile. Oh, yeah. That's the same gun. Yeah, that's where he was at. Oh, he was there. Alibi blown. Because you want to play. You cannot be gangster and rapping. Ain't no, I ain't these other rap niggas. My nigga, you are the rap nigga. You are the rap nigga. It's just your past is more authentic than his past. You can go more in depth with the street shit because you actually did it. But right now, my nigga, you are a rapper, not a gangster. It ain't no rapper slash, ain't no, I'm not a rapper, trap, no, nah, my nigga, you are a rapper. Rapper, and you might want to get used to saying that. Because when you get in the courtroom, that's what you're going to be saying. And all that playing two sides shit, come on, my nigga, folks should be able to tell what you is. And that's just what that is. So this is how I want to play it. Any nigga that say he a gangster in his music, if he got to say he a gangster, then he probably ain't. If a nigga tell you that he a rapper, you might want to watch out for him. Because all the gangsters, when they go to court, they say that they rappers. But all the motherfuckers, well, I can't really say that. But that is the case. It's, it's music. It's just music. Tell motherfuckers it's just music before you go to jail. We all know what's going on. Real street niggas know what's going on. Y'all niggas kill yourself when y'all try to prove to everybody what's going on. Showing guns and shit like that for folks that still ain't gonna give a fuck about you. These gonna be the niggas in the crowd that's gonna test you about that shit. Some cameras ain't your friend, is neither neither is the fucking internet. Don't make friends with nobody inside this industry. Not no blogger, not nobody. You in it to make your money and come on home. If you don't like talking to people, get you a manager. Because they niggas is going from the hood to the industry to the penitentiary. Just like that. Or the fucking cemetery. Big Facts Podcast. I'm El Conseco. Make sure I hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.